It's time now for look, ladies and local sports and sports. One County High School football set for this Friday night at Applin County. Still on a scheduled Friday night, 7:30. The big rival game between Wayne County and Applin County will take place Friday at Applin County. Again, game time, 7:30 p.m. No softball, no softball game here today. That make it with South Evan will have to be rescheduled. But Coach Major says his team will be headed to Ware County on Thursday for a game with the Lady Gators at 5 p.m. Over in Waycross. Next home game set for Monday. Time yet to be determined. So working with the officiating crew. Hopefully have those times for you tomorrow here on local sports. All other sporting events at the schools have been canceled for the remainder of the week. So again, softball team on the road Thursday, Ware County, and football game is a go this Friday in Baxley. Jack is into the game at 3-0, and and with a win on Friday, we'll have more wins this first four games of the season than they had all of last year when they finished three and eight. Big part of the Jack's success is the play of the offensive line. Senior Sam Font, Billy Parker, Spence Pierce, junior David Van, and freshman Weston Franklin anchoring that line. Coach Ken Cribb excited about the success of this offense. With the line, the man who coached the offensive line is Dave Poinsett, who has years of experience and played his collegiate ball with South Carolina. We talked with Coach Dave Poinsett about the offensive line this year. I think the guys are doing, doing well up front. I, th- I think the big thing that you look for is growth. Um, we have a lot of things. It's a technically, technically oriented position. and. Um, some bad habits we're trying to break, some habits we're trying to instill, and uh, just a good group of hardworking kids now. And whenever, whenever you see an offensive line, you just see five kids out there. Uh, we have about 20, uh, you know, all the way down to, to ninth grade, JV, and varsity. And everyone I'm giving effort, and uh, they're listening to the coach, and they're taking the coach, and, and they're having fun doing it too. Um, Expect that growth. It's like a uh, like a big curve. You know, we're at the bottom end of the curve right now. I expect sometime around six weeks, seven weeks, it's going to start really making sense and fit. And right now, there's a comfort level in what we're doing and the ability to call and communicate, which was a thing that we didn't have before. And, and I don't know where it was or how they approached it, but now we have the ability to communicate and talk how to work through equations within 15 seconds, and that that's big right now. We're still busting all over the place. We're making some bad plays, and the kids know it. And um, the key to that is how are you going to bounce back from it, how are you going to improve on your technique the second go around. And uh, it's a nice little game for them, and uh, we're pleased, but there's still a lot of work to do. We are watching the Valdosta game. One thing I noticed, I saw a little bit of rotation, but most of those guys that started went most of the night against rotation constantly by the defensive line of Valdosta. They were really tested, and I mean, they really held up pretty good all the way throughout the game, I thought. Well, when we uh, w- when we got here, I think one of the things that Ken and I and, and most of the coaches here were confronted with was depth. I mean, that's what we were told. You have a bunch of young kids. You've had kids that never played before. You don't have depth. And, and it, it wasn't so much a bad thing for us it was okay well let's let's work through this equation so we're going to find a way to a work around and we have five guys we have actually seven guys that we count on much like the nfl you have five offensive linemen you have two backup offensive linemen so that's what we play with uh, we have guys that are uh, going two different positions they, they learn them in practice and they should have the ability cognitive ability if you're a guard to understand what the center does and the tackle, vice versa. So we actually got two new guys this week. We got Jared Faircloth and we got Duke that's coming out there and they're both uh, tight ends for us. We're going to run a tight end set, spread the defense out a little bit. So the learning process is still going, but we, we do have depth issues, but we don't let it bother us. We, uh, we embrace it. Uh, our young kids are getting a lot of reps on junior varsity. They're actually too deep on the JV, and in some cases more than too deep. And it's a it's a growing process for them too to get bigger, to learn, to understand. But we're going to go with the seven or seven or nine counting the tight ends that we we have right now. Okay, coach. Thanks. And again, those comments to Coach Offensive Line Day Point said college football schedule has been affected by the hurricane as well. Georgia Tech's games has been canceled for Saturday. We're expected to head to play Central Florida. And that game has been canceled. Tennessee Florida game at this time still scheduled to take place in Gainesville, Georgia at home Saturday evening, hosting Sanford. And Georgia Southern has the weekend off. NFL football this weekend, the Falcons have the Sunday night game on national TV, taking on the Green Bay Packers at their new stadium. Jaguars are at home Sunday to host the Tennessee Titans, and the Jaguars announced that that season opener is a go. They state the stadium is fine. Owner of the Jaguars, Sean Conn, has donated $1 million to Florida's first coast relief in the wake of the hurricane. College football's new AP Top 25 came up this week, and with the big win by Oklahoma, Oklahoma moves up to number two. Ohio State drops down to number eight. 
The poll has Alabama 1, Oklahoma 2, Clemson 3, Southern Cal 4, Penn State 5. 6 through 10 is Washington, Michigan, Ohio State. Again, drops to 8th, Oklahoma State 9th, and Wisconsin in the 10. Florida State comes in at 11, LSU is 12th. Georgia moves up two spots to 13, Louisville 14. Auburn dropped to 15, 16, Virginia Tech, 17, Miami, 18, Kansas State, 19, Stanford, and 20, is TCU. 21st is Washington State, 22 South Florida, 23 Tennessee, 24 Florida, and 25 UCLA. That's your new top 25 entering this week. They get word that the blood drive at the hospital is a go today at Wayne Memorial Hospital. So again, if you have a chance to give the gift of life upon a blood, again, the blood drive taking place today at Wayne Memorial Hospital gets underway from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. today at 865 South 1st Street in Jessup.